abipimu ewo eye legon stadium ewo eye ponglo right here ewo legon campus na obipimu ewo ha the newly built stadium ah uh, yede be ye olympic all african games eye 2024 yi eha ena esi nene ena finally the vice president of ghana eh be commission this great uh, facility na uh, on the 8th of march ya she jumedi no ase the more on the 13th of march uh, sorry on february and uh, the president of ghana eh na na adudan kwa kufuado e bi bi e ye botema sports complex no e ho hena swimming and other games e ye table tennis ni adia de ho ni e be ye no ba ha no e athletics and soccer uh, football no and uh, a bekoso e wa hanum a very very nice stadium o be pm e wa ha tena me no be ye to we mean yes sports person me no we ye a raw to it is a bibini no me ntima modie mo fa nche me say gh brain about sports i entertain yes but i want to give you up this now so who dey ekoso e wo eh gana ha but i mean be pm on the layman's view i mean i think the stadium is very very nice uh, this is how a VIP looks. Say na aha, ACTA na ukupiemu ewo social media so up. So many people are complaining about the fact that uh, 21st century na yes stadium a any show the beer ewe cover fans and so I'm about to say people 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 were talking. I don't know say sign was say ye and I say we needed to. Uh, Involve much money in a BBI team. A year come up now. Do you know? Oh, many no hey, a opening ceremony uh, set up no more. Very, very nice. Okay, lighting and now this is easy. Ha, in your easy share stage or more mountain. I mean, uh, friends, a Cote d'Ivoire African Cup, you know, live performance uh, at the opening ceremony. Uh, World Cup, you know, you can see the all African games who are gonna have to be in TV. Uh, but it's a black sheriff, no more beige in Asana. Oh, mommy, a killer moves, Kakrana. Yeah, they are said you made you know. I see. Yes, so this is how the place looks like. Uh, stands, you know, it will green stands. And I will hold on. I think I'm putting you in a green, any yellow, any red, and I need to Yeah, that's a floor light, too. Um, everything is on point. I don't know. It's a pitch, you know, the grass, and also, so no, this be standard, but I think pretty cool a very very nice uh uh idea i mean when you see a you so much you can feel it saying um this is real grass now it been so way too much uh when you talk about how beautiful this stadium is uh and i'm pimping with the nipper be brain now can it's about maintenance yes maintenance how we are going to be able to maintain this great edifice maybe be so hurting me i have fun but i'm sure say uh Yes, so Green TV. So this is the inside of how the the, the stadium looks. We don't have one thing, washroom, BBB and so memo no when you update and all the coverage and so the ABC room fee said the vice president will be commission uh, commission commissioning this great project, you know. And check to me the ninja and I'll be bro after this particular video. No, not really. I'm so I fine. So say, and I have an AC at here, but I'm sure they will take us around. Don't be BB in a moment. Don't be me and who they are so well. You can see, say, a hand air washrooms, toilets, me a shock. I say, almost be the crowd. Everything here is new, very, very new. Have you be in that toilet, you know? And so, any may do be a yeah, kind of dressing room, you know. I mean, I'm proud to be real. And when you say, if I be saying so, a judge may you know, yes. So, this is how the whole place looks like. Maybe exact video of the tour, you know, I bet to also also wait to my make sure you subscribe, like the video, and comment.
The Vice President is in. Shall we be outstanding, please, respectfully? Wonderful rendition of our national anthem. God bless our homeland Ghana and make They're unemployed. They are all looking forward to you, His Excellency, Dr. Manu Baumia. Thank you. Thank you very much. The Minister for Youth and Sports and MP for Yagba Kubori, Honorable Mustafa Yusif, Ministers of State here present. Our host, Member of Parliament for Ayawasu West Wogon, Media Syrian Al Hassan, also the incoming Minister for Sanitation and Water Resources, Members of Parliament here present, the Vice Chancellor of the University of Ghana. Your Excellencies, members of the Diplomatic Corps, the Mayor of Accra, Metropolitan Assembly, the District Chief Executive of Ayawasu West Wogon, Ayawasu West District, all MMDCs here present, Herbert Mensa, President of Africa Rugby, the President of the Ghana Olympic Committee, Executive Chairman of the Local of Olympic Committee, Dr. Kweku Fusi Asari, and members of the LOC. I must acknowledge the AU Commissioner for Health, Humanitarian Affairs and Social Development, Her Excellency Minata Sesuma, contractors and consultants who have done an excellent job, the Ghana Supporters Union, Tescon, friends from the media, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of His Excellency Nana Dodankwa Kufuado, I extend warm greetings to all of you for gracing this important ceremony. About three months ago, I embarked on an inspection tour of this facility and others in Botema as we marked the 100 days countdown to the 13th Africa Games to be hosted here in Ghana for the first time in our nation's history. I am excited to be back and in your distinguished company for the commissioning of yet another facility, the University of Ghana Sports Stadium and Rugby Stadium for the 13th African Games. Two weeks ago, President Nanado Dankwa Kofuado commissioned the ultra-modern Botayman Sports Complex, which boasts of 
multiple world-class sports arena which will be used for the African Games. The commissioning of the University of Ghana Sports Stadium and Rugby Stadium is another giant step by Ghana which indicates our preparedness to host the African Games in just a few days' time. At the time we won the bid to host the Africa Games, Ghana had inadequate multi-sports infrastructure. And this placed enormous responsibility on us to build more infrastructure to make the dream of hosting our first ever African Games possible. We said, yes, we may not have the infrastructure for now, but it is possible. Some Ghanaians wrote Ghana off and said it was not possible for Ghana to host the African Games given the time that was left. But we were determined and we persevered to the vision and commitment of the government of His Excellency Nanadu Dankwa Kufuadu, who was bent on bringing the African Games to Ghana for the first time in our history. Our vision and commitment has paid off, and today Ghana has built world-class sports facilities, which are not only making it possible for us to host the Africa Games, but will also leave the country a huge infrastructure legacy, which will significantly impact sports development in the country. At the Boteman Sports Complex, which the President commissioned just a few weeks ago, we have world-class multi-purpose domes for many indoor games and a world-class aquatic center with a warm-up pool. Here at Lakeon, the facilities we are commissioning today include a 10,000 capacity stadium with a modern Mundo track for athletics competition, a standard warm-up athletic track, as well as a modern rugby stadium. The Minister for Sports was just whispering to me that this modern rugby stadium is the largest in West Africa. And I am not surprised to see Herbert Mensah here to, to take a, a, a look at this stadium and to honor what has also been done. I am particularly excited about the completion of the University of Ghana Sports Stadium, which with added facilities due to its checkered history. As we all know, the construction of the stadium started under the government of His Excellency President J.A. Kufour over 15 years ago. However, the construction of this stadium was completely abandoned by successive governments until our government assumed office and decided to resume construction. And the result is the beautiful edifice we are seeing here today for commissioning. I would like to thank former President Kufour for his vision to build a stadium for the nation's premier university. And I also want to thank the GET Fund for providing the initial funding. Dr. Richard Buedu is here for providing the initial funding to the University of Ghana and to all those who have played various roles to ensure the completion of the stadium. As the University of Ghana celebrates its landmark 75th anniversary, there could not have been a more fitting monument for the anniversary. This has come at the right time to host the Africa Games and also as a befitting legacy to the university and its community. Our government has taken sports 
very seriously and sports infrastructure very seriously. And this University of Ghana Sports Stadium also adds to the impressive list of sports infrastructure our government has constructed over the last seven years, including 10 multi-purpose sports stadia we are building in the 10 old regions, and we have completed six out of the 10, and we expect the other four to be completed this year. We have also completed over 150 astrotechs in communities across the country. When we came into government, Ghana had only three astrotechs. And today we can speak of 150 additional ones. What is absolutely in no doubt is that our government has built more for sports facilities, more sports infrastructure than any other government since independence. Since independence. No government has built as much sports infrastructure than our government. And the data is clear. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, in spite of Ghana being a founding member of the Africa Games. Ghana has never hosted the Games. The desire has always been there, yet we have not been able to host it.
Ah. Uh -huh. 